What is strategy? Strategy is yet another overused, and perhaps, most abused word in business. It is widely misunderstood for goals, and at times mere descriptions. And funnily, anything that is said with high sounding jargon is often mistaken for strategy or being strategic. So let's learn about strategy in a simple and easy way. A simple way to describe strategy is, what position of strength, direction and means do we need to get well defined results. So to understand this better, let's look at how is strategy developed. Strategy has three parts in it, diagnostics, guiding policy, coherent set of actions. Let's see what they mean. Diagnostics, analysis of a situation to identify the challenges. Guiding policy, provide a framework of options and approach to deal with it. Coherent set of actions, different activities to achieve desired and quantifiable results. Let's look at what happens in a hospital, as an example, to understand these parts of a strategy in a simple and easy way. The doctor examines a patient and advises for diagnostic tests to identify health challenges. After obtaining test results from diagnostics, he suggests a prescription which is a guiding policy or approach to deal with challenge of curing illness, where she chooses what is the best means for getting desired health outcomes, it may be a combination of few options. Say, of taking a few tablets, or surgery, or diet control, or change in lifestyle, or a few or all of these together in a combination. Then, the doctor writes a prescription with medicines, dietary control and physical therapy. These are all a coherent set of actions to overcome health challenges identified and achieve health outcomes or call them, desired results. So for a business, strategy is about creating unique and valuable position, by following a well-defined approach, and carrying out a set of activities that are usually different from that of competition. So strategy offers an integrated set of choices to do which are chosen based on, where to compete, what unique value to provide, how to get there, unique strengths via capabilities, how to realize and sustain anticipated results. That means, strategy is to get unique position, approach and actions for achieving sustained results. Now let's learn the three generic strategies that any business might have. As suggested by Michael Porter, Harvard professor. 1. Cost leadership, being the lowest in the industry to be able to compete on price, Example, a supermarket known to sell groceries at lowest prices. 2. Differentiation, uniqueness in a product or service when compared to competition. Example, a food store selling only organic food products. 3. Focus, targeting a chosen set of customers or a need to deliver the best value. Example, a management consulting firm serving only family owned businesses. What is not strategy? It is equally important to know what is not strategy to help succeed in your conversations and business situations. Operational excellence is not a strategy, because it is given. Every organization needs to do their jobs to the best of their ability, and this can't be a strategy. Goals are not strategy, because reaching a certain amount in sales is a goal, and not a strategy. But the approach to strengthen the business to achieve the goals, is strategy. Actions are not strategy, because actions like buying a new business, selling a property may be strategic activity or tactics part of an overall strategy, but not strategy by itself. Creation of effective strategies. Now, let's learn about how companies create effective strategies. Most effective strategies are capabilities driven. Leading companies know which capabilities give unique advantage, create value, and make them money, and what they do better than their competition. So they create their strategies around their capabilities and to support their growth plans. For example, let's look Apple Company, as an example for its most admired and successful strategy. 
the company focused on capabilities it excelled, and which differentiated the company clearly from its competition. Capabilities such as, articulating how customers should experience their products. Creating an intuitive flow of interfaces. Innovation for new product designs. Excelling in branding the products. But strategy is also about avoiding what not to do. So Apple did not expand into personal computers, but refocused its capabilities on iPhone creation. Did not invest in world-class manufacturing, but sold its factories. Did not continue new technology development, but created a platform for building on the innovations of others. Tactics. Tactics are the means by which a strategy is implemented. So tactics are those specific techniques and actions that help you get what needs to be done, as part of the overall strategy. Let's see couple of examples to understand what are tactics. In the hospital example we have seen, all those actions such as taking medicines, physical therapy, etc. are tactics to achieve the specific end result. When competing for a large deal, a company may lower prices for its services, this is a tactic for the purpose of winning deal. To provide transparency for the goods delivery, a retailer may create online tracking for customers, as a unique value. To summarize our understanding in simple words. Strategy is the what and why, of a desired position. Tactics are, the how of the strategy. So, in other words, strategy gives the roadmap based on significant analysis of the external factors and internal capabilities and tactics are specific actions aligned with the strategy that will support to achieve the defined results now let's learn about value chain analysis the value chain is simply all the activities within the operating model activities and processes that create value for your customers so, to analyze value chain, we need to identify what happens in a business, and which activities and processes are creating value for customers. Let's take a restaurant as an example to analyze its value chain. Activities in a restaurant are Reception Ambience Order taking Cooking Billing Payments Supply chain maintenance of personnel, car, or two-wheeler parking. We all know, customers visit a restaurant to enjoy tasty food. So cooking is a primary activity. So the restaurant must focus on this activity to offer the best value. But they also write bills to collect money for the food orders. This is essential but no matter how the bill looks. Billing has little or no value to the customers. So billing is a secondary, or support activity. However, parking which is usually a secondary activity, assisted or valet parking at restaurants in crowded city areas may become a high value activity. As customers may like the easy access and advantage. And therefore of high value during busy lunch hours. Then parking which is usually a secondary activity, may be moved to the list of primary activities. Value chain analysis helps you identify value creating activities for the customer, and focus on the specific actions that create the most value for customers. It also helps to evaluate the differentiation strategies to improve value to the customers. Remember, value chain analysis will be specific to each business and the industry it is in. How this helps you learning about what is strategy and what is not, about tactics and value chain analysis can help you evolve as a problem solver, thought leader, and help you participate in consensus building exercises across the organization for establishing strategic direction and tactics. Congratulations! You have now understood the most common and yet most important terms, and this helps you to take part in both strategic tactical and value chain related conversations that often lead to decision making in organizations. And that's a notable ability you have added to yourself today. 
Hope you have enjoyed the session. Now take a quick quiz and make a note of learning advice, and move forward to the next lesson. Thank you.